Hi, everybody, and uh, thank you very much, Maddie. I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy this as much as you think you are. And hello, everybody watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. I know I am. And I'm learning lots, which is what I want to talk to you about today, which is learning in public. It's something that I do a lot and I do it on Twitch. By the way, I'm I'm Layla and I am an advocate here at VMware uh, and I'm super excited to share some little tidbits about Twitch with you. So you're probably thinking, well, isn't Twitch for gaming? Isn't that where all the tweens are playing Fortnite and Minecraft? Well, you'd be right, but it's also a tiny little corner that has a place called Live Coding. And that's where I hang out. It's a growing community of streamers that live code any aspect of software development or hardware development on, a, um, on, on Twitch live for your viewing pleasure. So you'll probably start on Twitch as a viewer. So I wanna share with you a few tips to get you started as a viewer in the best possible way. And, and also why you might want to go onto Twitch and have a look at this little corner and see what's happening. So the biggest thing is that you're going to be part of a community. And there really is a sense of community on Twitch. Uh, there are, streamers from all over the world streaming in all different languages, both like spoken language and programming language. So there's something for everybody. Uh, and in all different sort of, you know, tech stacks and, and corners of tech. So uh, I've seen people working uh, with little Arduinos or they've been game developing. There's all aspects of there. So there's something for everybody. Uh, and there's always something to learn, new techniques and new things. You can help solve problems in collaborative ways. Uh, I think a big part is you can watch how others approach problems and you can learn from them uh, and on um, how they solve those problems. Uh, you can make friends with like-minded people, which I think is pretty cool. I've made friends with people all over the world, uh, which, is, which is really cool. It makes the world that a little bit smaller. Uh, now, when you go and watch a streamer, I highly recommend going and having a look at their about page. Uh, it may have frequently asked questions. It may have chat commands, which is how you get to interact in a fun way on the stream. It is always good uh, to do. Uh, it may have rules. Uh, so like you know, what you can and can't do and what the streamer expects from you. It will have details on their hardware sometimes, so you don't have to go in and go, oh, what, what, what's your PC and things like that, because it's probably all in the About page. So check that out first uh, or whilst you're watching. So that's my little tip on that bit. Uh, now, I did a poll on my Twitch channel to see why people were there watching me bumble around some code. Now, many people actually use it as radio. So like that talk show radio, they have it as background noise, uh, which is cool. They'll listen to it whilst they're coding. And then if they hear something that's relevant to them or that they can chime in on, they'll hop in and, and get engaged. Uh, you can see how other people solve problems and that leads to learning stuff. You can help others. I tell you, I wouldn't have got uh, some solutions without the help of chat. So I, I really appreciate chat's engagement. And um, entertainment, or as I like to call it, and many others, edutainment. Uh, so education, that's entertaining. And that, that's a key thing. You need to be entertaining. Uh, and then another bit is networking. So meeting all these people from all over the place, meeting other streamers, other coders, people have found work through streaming. Uh, so it's a very good place to network. Uh, when you go over to the software and game development channel, you'll see something like this, just rows and rows of people uh, streaming. You can filter it. This was just 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, so middle of the night in the US, it was a little bit quiet. Uh, software and game development is a new channel. We used to be on science and technology. So this is growing. It's not as busy as it used to be, uh, but we are building it back up as people find where we've moved to. So 
you've been a viewer now what you want to actually turn on your camera and stream uh, and why why might you want to that sounds a little bit of a daunting thing to do and you may think that you need a huge setup like the one in this picture with lights and and all whizzy stuff i mean i have that but i didn't start with that so let's have a look and see um why i started coding and then how you can start coding on twitch that is i started coding before Twitch, obviously. Um, so as a, an advocate, I don't work on an engineering team anymore. And what live coding on Twitch does for me is it forces me to write code and learn new things. And chat doesn't let me give up when stuff gets hard. So I just keep going. And there's kind of that power of rubber ducking, talking things over with chat. You just seem to break through some problems. Uh, you do get mob programming. So rather than pair programming, we have the mob, which is all of chat joining in. And you do get inspired because people share blog posts or other solutions that they've come across or other streamers that are doing something similar and solving similar problems. So uh, that's why I do it. Now, if you want to get started, what you actually need is not a lot, and you probably already have it. Uh, I would say a discrete microphone. That could be just a simple headset like this that came free with your telephone. Um, you can upgrade to a, a proper microphone if you wish, but you don't have to when you start off. A web camera, because it really is important that people see your face, in my opinion. Uh, otherwise, it's just not that engaging. People are there to see you and learn from you as that coder. OBS, which is a, a free open source software program to broadcast from, and you do need a little bit of patience because, you know, you may be in the room with no one there. So just keep talking, even if there's no one there, because they might watch you on a, on a VOD or a video on demand later. So just keep going. Engage on other people's streams. Uh, try out different titles and topics. If you go with clickbait type titles, that might work for you. Or if you try something different, that might work better. So start playing, start, you know, as I say in DevOps, you know, fail often and, and learn quickly and all of that thing, you know. I've just totally misquoted everything. I've obviously learned nothing today, uh, but keep going with that and see how you go and just give it a go. Turn on the camera and start streaming. And uh, big thing, you should care about chat. Now, just remember why people are viewing your live code stream. Just remember that when you are thinking about how to engage people. If chat is active, you will be motivated to continue. You will keep going. You will solve that problem. You've got mob programming. Chat really does love to help and, and in a good way. Not that you do get some backseaters, but that, that's not the, the, the norm. Uh, and people are nosy. If they see a streamer with lots of people, they want to know what's going on. So the more chatters you have, the more people will come and join your stream. So <clears throat> some streams that you can go check out to get started. Obviously, the VMware Tanzu team. Uh, my awesome teammates have several shows throughout the week, all on different topics from Kubernetes to Java to uh, personal interest stuff. So go and check us out. Um, you can go and have a look at the software and game development channels. And you can have a look at the live coders. That's a team I'm a member of. We have like over a hundred different live coders on there of all different disciplines from around the world. So you can go and check out those. Um, these slides will be shared so you can click on those links. So don't worry. Um, and uh, yeah, with that, I'm going to say thank you because that was a whirlwind round through Twitch. Uh, if you want to contact me about anything like getting started on Twitch, I'm happy to chat to you. Uh, you can find me on Layla Codes It on Twitch. Um, I stream predominantly .NET content, uh, sort of enterprise architecture, design systems, design patterns, um, but yeah, C Sharp in general. So come hang out with me. Um, and you can reach me on Twitter at Layla Codes It. Uh, and with that, I will see you later in one of the panels. And I guess we're going to head over back to Matty uh, now. And thank you so much for joining my session. Have a great day. Bye.